Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, my friends all over the world. Um, I'm Janet. I want to speak about uh, something about corruption. To my leaders all over the world, be it a president, be it a king, be it a, a great person, a governor, woman representative, people that are in authority and in power. I want to talk to you this morning. There is a scripture in the book of Exodus, chapter 16, beginning from verse 4. Let us read together. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning I want to speak about the people that are in power. When God sets you in power, he is setting you in power to test you. Because in that place, it's it, it going to rain things, money, resources. You are entrusted with things to stand up for your people. Let me talk like, like the county that I, 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 am, I am from, like where I live in, in Mombasa County. I could have leaders from my county. Other people come from other counties and they have leaders from their counties. We, and, we, we went and elected you through a ballot. We entrusted you power with the leading of God that you may be in a place of power where money can reign in your hands, where money can reign in your, uh, uh, in, your, in, in, in your place of authority, come to you so that you can disburse, disburse that money equally. But now the Lord is talking to Moses about the food that was to rain from heaven. He says, he says to Moses, Behold, I'm about to rain, uh, uh, to rain bread from heaven. When you are in a place of power, you are given a certain amount of money. And that portion is for you to, to, to give people portions accordingly. But now you want to, 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 to build flats. You want to, to, to build estates for you, just for your family. A family includes of a father, mother, and children. When other people are suffering, when other people can't afford even a food for a day. How does that apply? I want to urge you people of God all over the world to come out of the spirit of corruption. It's like cancer is a clear disease. Yes, you have a car. Then you want, you want to have 10 cars in, in your parking lot. For what? You can't drive 10 cars in a, in a day. You want to have, to have 10 mansions in different cities in London in where? You, you, you can't sleep in 10 beds in a night. You can't sleep in 10 houses in a night. People of God, I want to teach you the spirit of contentment. The spirit of corruption is killing us leaders. Even in the church, people want more and more. Even they can lie on the altar to get more money from people. Eh? You are given certain amount of money to go and build schools, to go and maybe bring medication to a hospital, and then you consume that money. Is that not people of God? Is that, that not a curse? I want you people of God to stand in, in, in the place, the, the people that are standing in the places of authority, to be to listen to the voice of God that Moses was taught by, by God. God was pouring food from heaven in terms of manna. The, the things that you get in your hands is like manna from God. The resources, you know, it's, it's not your resources, it's not your money. It's money that is given to you in the place of, or in place of power to build people roads, to put a, maybe a, a, a street lights, maybe to educate a child, to, be, to do something for us, to, to, for the people that are Weak in the community, weak in the society, weak in the country, weak maybe in the church, and you eat that money. It is a curse. God said, gather, and, and Moses say, uh, uh, God said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather mm -hmm, a day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. God is testing you with the billions of money. Even our 12 President Ruto. God is testing you with billions in your hands and trillions to serve the people of our nation. To serve the weak people. There are so many weak people in our communities. Elderly, weak. And they need help from you people. Just as God was pouring food in the wilderness, there was no anywhere that people could get food from in the wilderness. God had to come in and pour food and he had to warn them, take a day's meal, take a day's meal. Having estates, will your children finish the estates? Eh? 
will, 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 will your people, uh, your family, father, mother, children eat the flats that you are building all over the country? It's a waste. It is going to rot. Listen to, to the scripture down here, what the, 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 the Moses was told by the Lord. On the sixth day, on the sixth day when they, they prepare, um, on the sixth day, when they prepare what they, they bring in, it will be twice as much as they gather daily. Only on a weekend you should take more because that is a Sabbath, a place of rest. Uh -huh. So Moses and Aaron said to all the people of Israel, At the evening you shall know that it was the Lord who you shall, you shall know. At the evening you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord because he has heard your grumbling against the Lord. For what are we that you grumble against us? People are in authority of power. And they lie to the, the basis of people that we have no money to give to you. We have nothing. A woman comes to your home, knocks the doors, they, they want a bursary for the, to their children, yet they can't get anything. Who will help these people at the end of the day? Their children are not educated, your children are educated. They end up maybe becoming thieves or they die early. They, they are helpless. People are helpless people of God. When you are in a place of authority, do something for the people. That is the only legacy that you can leave. Remember T.B. Joshua's message that the only legacy that will leave for us is to touch a life. Is to, to, to put a smile on somebody's face. People of God, I love you so much. Stop taking so much it will rot. It is a waste. Just pick what you're supposed to pick for a day. Unless it is a weekend, you can take more because of the Sabbath. I love you, people of God. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord preserve you in the name of Jesus. Amen.